Mr. Siriati's weakness started with his right leg and over time did develop issues lifting his right arm over his head. ALS is a neurodegenerative disorder that's associated with progressive loss of motor function. So this has historically been associated with this kind of very devastating experience of losing one's independence while still being aware of this happening. He ended up testing positive for a variant in the SOD1 gene. SOD1 is a gene, and, and mutations in that particular gene cause ALS in some people. It's about 1 to 2 percent overall uh, of ALS. I've been watching people with ALS, really watching their muscles, watching their function melt away. And now we have something that can slow down. It's a small subset, but can slow down ALS. OK, we'll put the drug in now, OK? Tofersen is a special drug that's able to block the accumulation of SOD1 protein, in particular the abnormal mutant form of that protein, the one that kills the nerve cells. What was amazing about Mr. Ciarati's case is that about three months into his time on drug, it was very clear that there was this change that occurred and there was a rapid improvement in his function across all these different parameters. Since I've been on the drug, I felt stronger or that I'm able to do things more, being able to physically move my body parts that I wasn't able to before. You did awesome. You know, seeing somebody with ALS actually improve is something that I never thought I would see in my career. I just didn't. It not only is important for that small percentage of patients that have this particular form of ALS, it's more so indicating, we're, we're showing, that people can actually get better with this disease. There was a range of benefits for the participants in the clinical trial. Some people, unfortunately, continue to progress uh, throughout the clinical trial. A good number of participants stabilized, and for ALS, that's unusual. Most of the time, this is a relentlessly progressive downhill course. And then, remarkably, some participants improved. To me, to show that we can have this type of improvement in ALS, but really able to bend the curve, tells me that ALS is a treatable disorder. If we have the right drug, we can have a major impact on treating ALS. So now the challenge to researchers like me, and of course uh, many other people around the world, is to find that right drug, to find a drug that can have an impact on the broader ALS population.